Hey, so just to confirm, Ilya was translating his own talk there. Um, so he wasn't available to join us in the questions afterwards in time. He is in the post-talk chat room. So if you have those questions and want to know the answers, you can drop in there. Um, but now we have um, Janelle for, for, for Lea, if I pronounce that right. She's going to um, be talking about improving the navigation experience for Grab driver partners using OSM. Um, so they're the taxi drivers in Asia. Um, and hopefully she'll be around for questions afterwards. So um, over to her talk. Good day to everyone joining us here at State of the Map 2021. I'm Aparna, from product lead for the Geo Experiences team at Grab, leading the efforts on maps and navigation. I also have Genial Fofia presenting along with me today, who's the lead program manager at Grab. Our talk today is about our journey to improving the navigation experience for our driver partners using OSM. I would like to briefly introduce you to Grab and our, mission, and our team uh, before we go deeper into the talk. Grab is Southeast Asia's leading super app with a mission to drive South, Southeast Asia forward by creating economic empowerment for everyone. We operate in multiple business categories. Transport, deliveries, and payments are the major ones. Uh, to tell you a bit more about the work our team does, we work majorly on the maps uh, that power the Grab Super app. Um, here you can see that maps are an integral part of the Grab Super app and they power multiple use cases. So from the places that you select for your rides and deliveries to the distance and time calculation that powers allocation of drivers and pricing, um, the routes and navigation that the passengers and drivers use uh, to reach their destinations faster, and last but not the least, enabling the discovery of nearby merchants, discount, and also essentials during COVID with the help of maps. We'll Karakteristik peta di Asia Tenggara cukup unik, uh, seperti menentukan arah di Asia Tenggara yang cukup menantang karena terdiri dari landscape yang beragam. Uh, terkadang itu cukup mudah untuk didefinisikan, tapi di sisi lain sangat sulit jika tidak tahu kondisi di lapangan. Hmm. PT yang kami buat uh, berfokus pada pelayanan transportasi online, pengiriman, dan lain sebagainya. Uh, tapi bagaimana kami melakukannya terlepas dari lingkungan yang menantang? Uh, produk PT yang kami buat berfokus pada kecakupan area dan pembaruan. Uh, data adalah inti dari pekerjaan ini. Untuk membuat peta yang lebih berguna dan pintar, kami menganalisis miliaran data perjalanan, data yang tidak terstruktur, membantu kami untuk meningkatkan kualitas peta kami. <laughs> One such journey we've had over the past few years is that of building an in-app navigation product. Selanjutnya adalah uh, Grab Navigation. Jika Anda berani pada kami, apakah yang paling diperlukan dalam navigasi? Eh, pertama adalah perjalanan yang aman, yang dijalankan oleh driver partners, kemudian pengalaman penggunaan yang lebih baik. Selanjutnya untuk mengurangi kesalahan rute, di mana ini akan mempengaruhi tarif perjalanan dan meningkatkan alokasi pekerjaan dan efisiensi platform. Masalah-masalah di atas akan berkurang jika ada navigasi yang lebih baik. It becomes quite complex for the driver partner to keep track of what the next step is that they need to complete. 
So having uh, less integration between the, uh, the driver app and the map becomes a problem here. Also, inconsistent routes seen by the passenger as well as the driver because they might be looking at different maps and there might be situations of inconsistency in the fare also because the driver part may use the route that is different from Grab has predicted. So these situations often result in disputes which creates a negative experience. Uh, we've also experienced situations in the past where driver partners complain about inefficient allocations where they get a booking after they cross the area or they, they get a booking that asks them to take a long detour. Now, this could happen because the routes they are driving on using the third-party map, when compared to what Grab might have been uh, assuming that they were on, is quite different, and this would result in inefficient booking allocation. So all of these problems can be tackled much better if the driver partners have an in-app map. Navigasi akan lebih baik jika para partner driver kami memiliki pengalaman navigasi yang lebih baik. So that's why we we went ahead with the journey of building. Selanjutnya adalah bagaimana Grab membangun sistem navigasi tersebut. Pertama adalah dengan pengumpulan data peta. This is a collection of attributes which represent the real world. In order to hal ini terdiri dari pengumpulan citra satelit komunitas lokal dan pembuat peta lokal dari pemetaan atribut pada poin ini data GPS yang didapat dan yang didapat dari perjalanan para driver partners yang juga bisa ikut andil dalam uh, tahap ini was done in 2018 and 2019 for the purpose of creating a navigation grid map data post this a significant amount of data is entered either manually or uh, in an automated fashion at huge scale There is a chance of errors either due to human oversight or lack of knowledge in standard practices and policies. And if these errors do flow through to the end users directly, this might result in a deteriorated navigation experience. So we then introduced a validation step. Selanjutnya adalah tahap validasi. In parallel to the data creation step, we also started working on building out the core navigation SDK and our routing capabilities which were compatible. Validasi data pattern dilakukan menggunakan tools open source dari OSM. Otomatis dan manual validasi dilakukan dengan tim untuk quality control. It includes building out our customization per country based on the local uh, policies and restrictions. In addition, as we were serving the users who are in the ride hailing and delivery jobs, We wanted to add further customizations that help them do their jobs more efficiently, like ERP along the route, ERP or toll information along the route, and supporting back-to-back -back bookings. The next step that we had to do was to integrate this. Selanjutnya adalah tahap integrasi. Tahap ini dilakukan otomatisasi quality assurance dan tim lokal quality assurance. Dan tapi ini juga dilakukan tes routing secara langsung oleh lokal tim. Uh, the next step also included uh, building out user onboarding flows and launching it to the, to, the, to our driver partners. Uh, prior to the launch, we have done extensive tests with the help of our local operations teams. Selanjutnya adalah testing dan road atau peluncuran. Di sini terdiri pemasaran. Pemasaran produk dan local operation tahap ini bertujuan untuk meningkatkan kualitas hasil navigasi. Give us feedback uh, as well as the help uh, as well as the help us learn a lot more on how to improve the product experience iteratively. Now I'll um, hand over to Jinal who will uh, help us understand a lot more in detail about how we prepare the map data uh, on OSM for launching navigation. Thank you, Aparna. Hello, everyone. Um, as Aparna mentioned, I think map data. Selanjutnya ada persiapan data OSM untuk navigation launch yang akan dijelaskan oleh Gina. I think we all know that we have like multiple ways of mapping. One is through the you know satellite imagery, which is like the 2D view, is what I would say, and then the other is the 3D view uh, or what we say street level imagery. So I think another critical aspect that was really needed is to not just have the 2D view, but have the 3D view so that we can see the streets and capture all the information that is needed to make uh, the map navigation ready. Uh, 
Uh, Grab sudah berkontribusi untuk melengkapi data jalan di Singapura selama tiga tahun terakhir. Hasilnya adalah uh, terdiri dari 14.000 km jalan dan kemudian ada 9.000 km jaringan jalan di Singapura. We've contributed to over 9,000 kilometers of roads and it is on daily basis we are you know looking into it revisiting it and it's since the last three years um as we move ahead i think this is just the base data but i think there are multiple other critical attributes that are needed to ensure that our navi- like we are navigating it in the right way such that our driver partners are helpful and we're taking them to the right places that is very uh, important so all the attributes that we see on the screen right now They mostly are not visible to a map when we are viewing it, but they are essential. Seperti yang diketahui, OSM memiliki banyak atribut, dan atribut ini sangat ber, berguna dalam navigasi. Di mana uh, naviga, atribut tersebut sangat mempengaruhi kualitas data navigasi yang dihasilkan. Kami menggunakan beberapa navigasi menggunakan beberapa atribut OSM yang dihasilkan untuk routing seperti yang ada tertera pada uh, layar ada lebih dari 109.000 larangan untuk berbelok 53.000 panduan jalur untuk berbelok 75.000 panduan 75.000 aturan satu jalur 300 akses terbatas, 3.000 pembatas, 100 gerbang tol, 75.000 nama jalan, 75.000 batas kecepatan, dan 350 kamera kecepatan. Our seamless and a better experience, and hence it is super important for us to be able to have all of this on the map, and most critically also keep updating because all of this information keeps changing, and that is why. Uh, you know, we went ahead with making. Uh, I mean, through our feedback processes, we are trying to keep them as fresh as possible. But I think the next question that comes into play is: Is this enough? And um, I think we went a step ahead because Grab has an it has another important community that it caters to is the differently abled people. So we have also gone ahead and mapped around seventy uh, thousand. Seventy thousand ways in Singapore, which are uh, supporting like zero. Uh, I mean, you know, uh, wheelchair accessible places and supporting pedestrians, uh, you know, to help us navigate in that direction. And but I think after all of this, what uh, does is this data enough? Is what something which uh, Aparna will take us through. Thank you, Gina. So, um, in the journey, in the course of our journey, what we realized is it takes a lot more than just good quality map data to launch. A navigation product that is loved by driver partners. Um, so, as the product that we launched had quite noticeable difference in the way it's being used compared to a third-party map that drivers were uh, using in the past, um, we also needed to learn a lot uh, as we went along the way about our driver partners' preferences and their behavior. So, what we did was we launched a Grab, Grab navigation as a beta tester program in 2019. The driver partners who kind of get some no beta launch no grip navigation signed up as our beta users kami juga mengajak para driver partner untuk uh, bekerja sama untuk mengimprovisasi data navigasi yang kami hasilkan uh, on the rides that they perform uh, and also you know um, do a lot of user interviews to help discover their problems Cara ini dilakukan dengan berinteraksi secara langsung kepada driver partner melalui WhatsApp atau uh, ya, chat secara langsung, uh, berbicara secara langsung, berkomunikasi secara langsung. Users, um, in order to build out the capabilities that best serve their needs, it also helped us get immediate feedback and a chance. Cara ini juga secara langsung memberikan feedback kepada kami untuk meningkatkan kualitas data navigasi yang kami hasilkan. Just quite intuitive and which required more hand holding and onboarding for our users. So this guided us in making the right product marketing support available as we launched uh, Grab Navigation to all users.
I think it's great. It has all the features that we're familiar with with the other apps. It has the turn by turn. And you're also able to access all the driver functions through the, when you're still using the map. I think that is great. It's a much uh, it's a bigger improvement from uh, the map that we used before. So we gradually scaled up uh, the launch of GrabNav to all the driver partners in Singapore. And here's a glimpse of some of our launch campaigns. Uh, here's also a quick glimpse of how the product looks. And you can see the screens appearing, uh, which talk about how uh, we support our driver partners' needs as they perform their day-to-day uh, -day bookings, uh, be it transport or uh, deliveries and other, other, other such use cases. I'll move on to talk about some of the key learnings uh, we had in this journey. Uh, the first one is that, uh, that being on the ground is crucial. Uh, because navigation is a product that is uh, really... Point yang kami dapat dari pekerjaan ini adalah bahwa berada langsung ada di lapangan merupakan hal yang sangat penting. Karena banyak contoh yang terlihat berbeda seperti di uh, citra satelit dan kenyataan yang ada di jalan. So when we did use the street imagery and mapped it earlier, we realized that some of the uh, some of the driver partners gave us feedback during the beta uh, launch that we seem to be guiding them to from one tunnel to another one which is on a different level. Uh, so because we were able to quickly detect this uh, problem with our beta users, we, we, we went ahead by deploying our local operations team to take swift, swiftly take a road trip along this route to capture new imagery uh, so that we could actually correct this map data very quickly. So what we realized that is uh, because these roads got constructed at different times of years, the street imagery was not really well captured in the past. So we were able to swiftly take action by adding latest imagery and also remapping this entire uh, tunnel to deliver the best experience for our driver partners. Another uh, learning is that, uh, especially around the street imagery collection effort, is that you need to add in a lot of buffer time into your planning process for dealing with complex situations that might arise during imagery collection activities. Um, sometimes you have rainy days which add to unforeseen delays in imagery collection, and the unpredictable tropical rains in Singapore add to the uncertainty. You also need to take a lot of approvals from authorities uh, like the airport, malls, buildings, authorities, uh, and also for residential condos, if you need to cover imagery on the last mile. Uh, all of this takes additional time, so please plan that into your uh, uh, you know, collection process. Uh, sometimes we also encounter situations where tra traffic obstructs uh, the road signs that we wanted to collect. Uh, so there are situations where you need to do multiple drives along the same road in order to capture the street signs effectively. Uh, so yeah, as I said, all of this needs to be incorporated into your planning process. Next major learning is that uh, as real world keeps changing, a map can never be perfect. So the focus should instead be on making the map uh, as agile as possible to incorporate the changes uh, of the real world back into the map quickly. This can be achieved by leveraging the above mentioned pillars like your users, local authorities, or the OSM community. <laughs> Tapi tujuan yang paling penting adalah bagaimana dia berbunuh. Etc. Our driver partners constantly give us feedback, um, and we've also made them made it very easy for them to sort of share this feedback with us, uh, which our teams actively look into and fix. Working with the local authorities, especially in Singapore, uh, authorities like LTA and SLA share in, with us the information about upcoming road changes and road closures, which we, in, we, which we quickly map into our uh, navigation experience. We also work very closely with the OSM community mappers in Singapore and rest of Southeast Asia to collab collaborate with them. Um, and Jinil will talk a lot more about it in the later on sections. So we also uh, do regular map updates uh, in order to reflect the world, uh, the changes as frequently as possible. So um, some, some data like road closures needs to be updated a lot more frequently than the other attributes. Um, even the smallest of errors make a noticeable impact to our end, end user for use cases like navigation. So you can see that in case of navigation, let's say if we encounter a geometry error, this might result in the guidance being set too early or too late and to result in issues or huge detours for our driver. 
sometimes incorrect POIs uh, will snap to the wrong road and will result in a lot of uh, detours in the last mile. Uh, if you have Bahkan dari ter- hal terkecil, uh, error terkecil dapat membuat impact untuk dapat mengakibatkan uh, impact untuk navigasi. Being up to map data in OSM uh, in order to help our user users to have a good navigation experience. We also hope to continuously monitor and improve on such experiences going forward as well. And last but not the least, each country has its own unique policies. And your system. Setiap negara memiliki kebijakan masing-masing dan sistem yang seharusnya bisa dikustomisasi uh, se- di tiap negara. Thank you, Aparna. As I think Aparna mentioned that uh, you know feedback is super critical, and I think OSM and communities uh, communities are a sense of OSM. So we try to work with. A lot of different communities within Singapore. Komunitas sangat berperan penting dalam pembuatan navigasi di project kami. And you know, uh, we had multiple initiatives and programs that uh, help us get the community together, um, not in just in Singapore but in the whole of Southeast Asia. Kami um, beberapa kali mengadakan persemuan bersama driver partners untuk memberikan feedback dan validasi um, dalam navigasi yang kami buat. Kami juga bekerja sama dengan uh, banyak universitas dan juga para pelajar. You know, learning about maps and introducing them to open street map. We ourselves host a lot of mapathons. Yes, this was. Dan kami juga menggunakan mapathon untuk mengajak para pelajar untuk memetakan daerah sekitar. And you know, multiple other initiatives, the humanitarian causes that each of us support. And some glimpses of how the post-COVID world looks like. Finally, we would like to say a huge thank you thank from you. our Grab Navigation team and our driver partners to the OSM community for enabling us to build and improve the navigation experience in South East Asia. Thank you. Uh, let's stay in touch. Thank you so much. Hi, so uh, thank you. Aparna and Janelle for that talk. Um, there's been a few questions, but also um, a comment that it was exciting to see accessibility as a priority. Um, so that definitely agree with that. Um, so looking at the questions tabs, and there's been some votes in as well. Um, I think you possibly answered this question towards the end, but um, if we were to get in a grab taxi now, um, if we were in Singapore, um, and said to the driver open street map would they know that name or do they just know about the awesome maps i don't think we can quite hear you um Right, maybe. <laughs> sorry, I didn't hear you. I, 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 but... Okay, uh, can you can you hear me, Gregory? Yep. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, I think Aparna, we are still not able to hear you, but probably I can take. Uh, I I don't know if I can cover everything what she is trying to say, but um, uh, I think yes. Uh, uh, as 
through the slides, I think all of you have heard that we work very closely with our driver partners. So they know that uh, we are working on the maps. They know that this is the feedback that they're getting. So yes, they know that these maps are powered by OpenStreetMap and uh, that's how they're getting such an amazing and awesome experience. Um, one additional item to add is, um, so we also attribute OpenStreetMap on our uh, experience itself. So whenever they open the app, when they interact with that attribution, so they can actually see um, one is OpenStreetMap and also all the other places from which we get the data. So they can actually see the list of all the uh, contributors. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I think most of you probably uh, might go back to Ilya's talk about not everyone's excited about maps. As, so, you know, I would definitely notice if it was OpenStreetMap, I think. Um, great. So what's the next? Um, hang on. If I use this right, I can archive that one because I've asked it. Um, now, this, I think, is possibly a technical question. Um, Grab has been mapping Singapore in fine detail, creating more than um, 10,000, 100,000, no U-term restriction, right? It looks like Janelle understands this more than me. I think the question is about that that's documented um, it, or it's not documented. Is Grab finding it difficult to engage with the community to improve tagging in cases like this? Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for the question, whosoever asked. And I think we, when we started mapping in Singapore, we encountered a very unique situation, uh, which was that Singapore basically tells us where we can take a U-turn, but does not tell where we like does not have any board or something which explicitly says you can't. Which means by default, it is you can't take a U-turn unless there is a board that says U-turn. And uh, it's funny, but we do not have any tags as such on OSM. I mean, at least of what we know that are prominently used that allow us to say that you can take a U-turn. Otherwise, it is no U-turn. So that's the reason why it is so finely detailed, and you can see so many uh, you know no U-turn tags in Singapore. But this was majorly the reason and. I think when it comes to the community as well, we are working towards and trying to engage with the community and understand the nuances. But I feel this was also two years back where the community was also relatively new. So we were, you know, trying to channel our ways, work together. And I think if we encounter a situation like this now, we might have better results or maybe even have a brand new tag which has a different use case. Cool. Um, yeah, that sounds a bit like this. OpenStreetMap, you know, I've been involved for many years. It it changes how relevant it is, and and as you say, no, maybe no one cared about mapping the U-turns, but because it it doesn't appear like that on the map, but when you use it in a different way for navigation, you need different things, don't you? Exactly. Um. So this question was: Do you have partners like Uber who already had a map but switched to? OSM with Grab, and I think I'd widen that to other. You're focused in Singapore, but other countries are doing similar things with mapping and using OSM. Um, so, if you talk to them at all, yeah. Um, thank you again for the question. So, uh, one thing we could say is, um, like, whenever we reach out to any of our, uh, you know, uh, friends in the industry or partners, we do talk to them about our journey of using OSM and building a navigation product based on that. Uh, so we do uh, share our learnings as well as you know promote the use of OSM in, in general. Uh, and if anyone's interested in knowing more about how they how they can go about doing this or you know uh, find out more about this thing, they could reach out to us. Um, so we've provided our contact details. So if they are interested, they could always reach out to us and and uh, you know understand a lot more about it. Cool. Um, um, one last question here. Um, during the journey, anything Grab would do differently from a retrospective looking back view? Um, yeah, I think uh, at least from the product side, right? I would say um, one thing I would want to do a lot more differently is be a lot more actively driving on the road because, I mean, navigation product needs to be experienced on the road. And uh, in the initial stages, we were able to take a lot of road trips and understand like how the product is looking and what kind of data attributes uh, are affecting the uh, product experience in a different way. But when COVID started, I think we actually got restricted into how many times we could go out on the road, especially because of lockdowns. And uh, if I could do it differently, probably I would want to still go try it out. Maybe uh, you know have some other means of transport which I could use personally and, and drive a lot more. Uh, so this is definitely a learning we'll try and use for the uh, you know future uh, wherever we would want to scale up or launch. Uh, definitely, we'd want to be more on the road, actively on the road. 
Right, great. Um, yeah, uh, it definitely seems to be the case that you uh, understand on the ground is important, which is a big mantra of OpenStreetMap, isn't it? Um, so uh, I'm going to just point out Guillaume, this great thing of it being live and interactive in Venulus. Guillaume um, said that the question about the U-turns uh, was, was more about making the documented. Can, can we, I think that's him answering as OpenStreetMap, make it better because the documented stuff isn't suitable for Singapore? So he's more asking from the different question. Um, but we won't get, we'll end it there. Um, if um, if you if you're on the Venulus platform, I know you'll have to leave this this uh, call. Um, there's the post talk chat room, um, which you can both go in if anyone's got any questions or discussions. Um, I don't know if there's anyone from similar organisations that might want to chat as well about how you could partner. Um, but thank you for your talk, um, and we'll end there. And the next talk in about five in about four minutes. Thank you Thanks so everyone. much. Thank you.